What's going on, everybody? What you're looking at right there is some tweets from the Madden. Um, he's a Madden Bowl champion. Oh, um, okay. yeah, dub 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 dub. Okay. Um, this is the way that he greets his friends and stuff like that. Hey, I like Do you it. have a problem with it? Wait, 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 wait. What? What? What do you mean? So, just why is his friend? Yeah, that's his friend, but he calls so him a porch on monkey. on a public forum. Uh huh. He he said. Why that you gotta to be an N word? Listen, I, look, I don't. What does that mean? No, no, but, but but I don't know what he's doing. That's not what my issue is. Listen. So, so Chris is black, and he's just using the ER no, no, instead of the X. No, no, Chris is not Chris before. No, he's not black. That's dot dot. That's that's dub dot dub. He's not black. He really? just he just played problem in the uh, Madden Bowl championship. So this is what Madden's about? This no, no, I don't, listen, no, because Madden took a stand. They find him. EA Sports did what they're supposed to do to, to, to help keep their um, their uh, their image right. They, they find him. Like I said, this is way back in 2011 he's doing this. So I'm not even worried about him being a racist. What my issue is, uh, this is the letter that they wrote. It's available at month, uh, EA Sports month. What is EA Sports month underscore or something? EA Sports underscore month or something. They put out a letter. They find him $3,000 $3, out of the money that he won. And they also took away Madden points from him for the Madden Championship. My issue with Dot D- Dubby is what he's saying to Gaming Powerhouse, who was another YouTuber. Well, this is saying during and directly after. See, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't think he was doing anything during. So, I, I, I don't know. Well, don't, they must have researched it. Why else would they do that? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't see it. I looked at all his tweets during and after, and I didn't see any reason. I think that they used what he was doing in the past because what happens is another guy, Skimbo. He was just he had he called this cat. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to jo, uh, Jovan Lakey. Yeah, he made that song. That dude. Um, he was just calling his people the N word. He called this cat the N word, Skimbo. So what I think they're trying to do is make people understand that you just can't. You got to have a better image when you're playing in their tournaments. They're doing their due diligence. My issue is this right here. He's saying Dub dot W is saying the attitude that gaming powerhouse shows toward the game is terrible for anyone just starting to try competitive Madden. Now, the thing that I have an issue with is this. And look, listen, you know, I got love for Rex Dixon. Wait, 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 back up. But what, listen, what are you drunk? Is, what is gaming? No, gaming, I don't follow this the way you do. Gaming powerhouse is, is telling the truth. What is gaming powerhouse's attitude? He's saying what is true. The game is broken and it sucks. But everybody that plays it in the tournament refuse to acknowledge it. Okay. And, and he's saying that it's, it's terrible for him to do that because he's trying to shield it because he's the winner of the challenge. He's trying to say it's not. He's acting like it's not a bad game. When if you watch his game, See, now he got I'm bailed out by a pre, he got a predetermined pick on problem right. I'm problem right was supposed to whip his ass, and he got a pre. Yes, he got a predetermined pick. A pick where your defense, your, your your offensive player starts fighting the defender. It's the dumbest shit ever created. That's how he beat problem right. Problem right had this game in hand. And listen, I told you, problem right. A lot of people say he's washed up, whatever like that. Problem Right is a very smart individual. He knows how to win these games. No matter how Madden changes, he's always in the running. And I always tell you that. Keep in mind, the same shit I tell you, I say it on stream. I don't hide what I'm saying. I got love for Rex. I hate this game. That has This is the number two guy that I'm playing. Do you remember when you were leaving to go to work that morning? And I was arguing with you and I was playing around? Because you're garbage, yeah. Okay, I'm garbage, I agree. Because I don't consider Madden 16 or 17 anything competitive about it. But I was arguing with you, playing around, doing mad dumb shit, and I was playing the number two guy in salary cap, and he couldn't beat me. But there's a skill gap. Oh, you what? This is what I'm saying. If this this guy's the number two guy in the leaderboard, it's probably gonna be number one. I played Volterax. Volterax is a bum this year because everybody can really do the swerve. Because last year in 16, you could do it, but I wasn't really focused on it because it wasn't really about that. All you had to do was hold Y or triangle and it's aggressive catch. This year, the swerve is so crazy that you, you can't beat anybody deep. You have to swerve. Else your offense is stupid. Because you know, like the way I play football, I'm always trying to go for the deep ball. You know, shout out to Donovan Morgan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got friends that played in the NFL, the I AFL. You, you go balls deep? Okay, that, that's your business. But what I'm saying is I got friends that play in the NFL, that have played in the NFL, and that also play professional football. They Most of them are wide receivers. They always go in deep, no matter what the quarterback says. I'm yeah, addicted. You always go deep. I'm always going deep, but listen, yeah, you are saying right. inappropriate things. No, no. I'm talking about football. Okay. What I'm saying is... I wanted to bring I, back, bring up a point about the tweet before we get too far away from it. Okay, go ahead. It almost sounds like he's saying, if you want to be competitive... Yes. In the Madden community... Yes. You have to suck ass the way I suck ass. Oh, like how he's sucking them off. Yes. Okay. It's almost... It, I read it 
not knowing the history or anything, okay. I read it as, listen, if you want to be competitive, like I'm competitive, yeah. you got a brown nose like I brown nose. No, but look, look, look let, me just say, let me just say that. I agree with what you're saying to a certain point because a lot of people do whatever they have to do to get in good with EA. Exactly. What, what, what I'm saying is this. I don't have a problem with how EA does business. I'm just asking for a better game. I'm, I'm giving, I give constructive criticism. I show what's wrong with the game. I'm not just like, yo, you, you know. Songs about it. Yeah, I, I try to show them what's going on in a comical way. Okay, listen, stop promoting right now. What? Why are you promoting? I'm just saying. No, listen, I'm just saying. That's what, what, I, the songs are. what I'm saying is you this. Look, listen. Street the, and stuff like that. Okay, stop talking about Street Straight. They don't need to go download Street Straight at gmyswell.com. They don't need to download that. That will no. ruin somebody's life. Should they also get merchandise from Gmyswell? No, no, no. Don't get no, no, no. Don't get no, no. merchandise. Don't get no t-shirts no, either. That's not what no, no, no. Right. What I'm saying is this: Gaming Powerhouse is a fellow New Yorker. All right. Okay. So when it comes don't to New York, up. no, stop. That's my New York. You're not from the streets. You stop. know I'm from these streets. Listen to me. You need to stop right now. But what I'm saying is, the bottom line is this: Gaming Powerhouse is right on the money with his comments. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who's against what he's saying. That's what the problem is. You know what's funny about this? A couple of the players from the Patriots, two, two African-American or people of color are not going to Trump like how they usually do when they win because of what Trump's been doing. I don't know what their um, whole mindset is about it, whatever like that, because I I'm not gonna get into the whole political thing about it. But what I'm saying is the point of them not going is because they stand for something. The difference, but like, like in, undisputed with Shannon Sharp and um, Skip Bayless, they made a very good point. If you think about it, the only difference between Muhammad Ali and Michael Jordan was that Muhammad Ali stood for something more than sports. Yeah. That's the, no, no, but listen, that's what my point is. I don't want to compare it to a deeper thing like that, but what I'm saying is just because everybody is on one thing doesn't mean that Gaming Powerhouse doesn't have the right to say what he feels. The same way I have the right to say what I feel. We don't have to be like other YouTubers and say, oh, that's a dot. Oh, bend me over, stick it in my butt. We don't have to do that. We can say, look, this is what it is. And you know what's funny? A lot of guys are saying like, serious mo, oh, you're trying to get attention. I believe Gaming Powerhouse started this channel in 2011. The guy's been grinding. He's not getting anything he doesn't deserve. So what I'm saying is, come up, like, I'm gonna bet- That's such a stupid comment. Yeah, if but you're making videos, of course you're getting attention. You're putting videos out there, you want attention. So what is the point of saying that? But what I'm saying is this, because- People, if you're going to insult or you're going to critique something, use bigger words. Use I different words. Make your point. Anybody who puts a tweet out there and your account is not private, anyone who uses social media and your account is not private, anyone who does the, the streams, anyone who does these videos and commentates on the videos, you're all looking for attention. Anyone who goes out there That's and plays facts. Madden, That's we're facts. all looking for attention. That's facts. So don't say that, so, oh, you're looking for attention. Of course we are. That's, that's the bread and butter. That's what people Hold on, look, 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 Jimmy jump, the Jimmy jump. Oh, wow. He's nice. never done that in real life. Oh, my God. Oh. This game is a goddamn joke. Oh. But listen, as the video comes down, I just want to let everybody understand that. I completely support what Gaming Powerhouse is saying because I feel that same rage when I play the game. But even if you didn't, mm -hmm. that's his experience with the game. He should have the right to do that. So don't critique him unless what he's saying is what I interpreted as, hey, you got a brown nose like me if you really that's want the to other be guy. competitive. That's the other guy telling yeah. him, yeah. Okay, so all in all, who do you support? Gaming Powerhouse or Dub I support dub, dub, anyone. Dub, dub, racist. I, I support, mean, Dubby, Dubby, Dubby. I support anyone. Hold who up. is honest. I do not support people. He's the number two guy. Why is he going to rage quit and not, not let my Twitch viewers see the highlights? I do not support. But there's a skill gap. Internet gangsters and people who use the internet. There's a skill gap. But this guy's rage quitting. I can't see my highlights with my people, bro. But there's but there's there's a skill gap. That Dubby, racist. I mean Dubby. Wh who, who? You're playing Dubby. No, Dubby's the guy that was saying coon and n word. I don't know. It is what it is. Who do you support? Gaming powerhouse or dub dot racist? I mean Dubby. I'll at me.